The secret to sleeping comfortably in a warm car is cool air in and hot air out. I've accomplished that in a stealthy, weather-resistant way with a two-part system. My first attempt used this tiny blower fan. But after being roasted by some warm summer nights and the internet, I realized I needed more CFMs. And since I already knew that meant more airflow, I started by tracking down a more powerful blower fan that pulls cool air into the car without letting light exit the car like a normal fan would. It also has a little switch and plugs into a USB battery, so it's pretty easy to work with. The fan needed something to mount to, so I traced the window and cut that shape out of ABS plastic. I used a hole saw to make a perfect circle for the fan and drilled four small holes for attaching it. I also drilled some holes for this pre-made net that's going to hold the battery pack for the fan and other small items. But before installing them, I made what I call the snorkel because to be stealthy and rainproof, the window needs to be rolled almost all the way up. And when it is, the window cover presses against the window, creating a seal that you can see here does not allow air to be drawn in. To break that seal, you can use this um, to glue two pieces of the ABS to the back, creating this channel I call the snorkel which just separates the window cover from the window and allows air to flow in. But because the best part is no part, I decided to mold the snorkel into the sheet of ABS by clamping a few wooden blocks to it and using a heat gun to soften the material. This scraper thing helped me start to form it. And then this stir stick that I sanded down was the perfect size for finishing the job. This stuff starts softening around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's easy to shape with a heat gun, but that's a high enough temp that the heat of the sun hasn't warped mine very much so far. And here it is finished. It's just a few millimeters deep. And because our window only touches the window cover at the top, I only made the snorkel a few inches tall. Next, I installed the fan with these little plastic fasteners by putting the bolts through the hole in the ABS placing the fan and tightening the nuts. This 3M tape was perfect for adhering the control switch to the window cover, but I made sure to leave gaps between the pieces of tape so heat could dissipate from the switch. Then I gave it a nice hard press for good adhesion. To hide some of the cable, I filed a little notch out of the side of the pocket and slid the wire underneath, then bolted that on too. The next challenge was to redirect the air. See, right now it's shooting straight down, but I wanted to aim in so I can actually feel the breeze. To achieve this, you could curl one piece of the ABS up and glue that on, but I thought that looked a little too DIY. You could also skip this step or turn the fan up to redirect the air, but I decided to learn a new skill and figured out that if you can print on a regular printer, you can use a 3D printer. The tricky part is designing the models, but I'll give you those for free in the description. The first one I made didn't really work at all. The next one used too much material. Then I realized I didn't need to bolt them on, so I removed these little wing parts on them. And eventually I landed on this little scoop that plugs right into the fan and stays put with just friction. And you can see here how the air is redirected with that scoop. Those are all the pieces you really need for this to function. And you can see the backside looks pretty discreet. But I added one more thing. This little window that I bolted on so we could peek out. I went ahead and made one for the other window to show you how easy it can be. You don't need to tape down the switch. I did put the printed parts on, but you don't really need those. All you really need is the fan, the bolts, the pocket, and the sheet of plastic, which you just bolt together. And on the back side, you just glue on the strips of plastic to make the snorkel. Both of those combined only got me to around 70 CFMs of airflow. And I don't really know anything about CFMs, but evidently, I need a lot of them. So for the next part of the airflow system, I went much bigger.
should pay me for making these sick videos. This isn't sponsored. I just watched one test video and bought the ones this Canadian fella recommended because they move 100 CFMs each. I ordered three, but these fancy things are 12 volts versus my batteries, five volts. And they have these weird little connectors that don't connect. But I found this cable that converts the five volts from the battery's USB port to the 12 volts that exit this four pin connector. Then that plugs into this switch and that switch controls the fans. And if that's not clear, I think it will be once it's all assembled. To mount those things, I first measured my sunroof. The distance between the aluminum rails will be the width of my sheet of ABS and the length of the opening will be the length of my ABS plus around six inches. I cut the ABS to size and used a hole saw to make three perfect circles for the fans and bolt holes for the fasteners. If you're concerned about bugs getting in, they make these fan filters with holes that align with the computer fans mounting points. So again, I'm using these plastic fasteners to sandwich the ABS between the fan and the fan filters. The next thing I had to figure out was how to attach the battery. You could use one of these pre-made pockets again, but I like a good challenge, so I designed a few battery sleeve prototypes. My first design used way too much material, but after just a few iterations, I landed on something I thought was perfect. I put the two parts of the sleeve on the battery so they'd be the right distance apart, then attached them with the adhesive tape. With the two parts of the sleeve locked down, the battery slid right in and latched into place. This next part you really don't need to do, but I thought this cable was too long, so I broke it open, cut the wires shorter, and tried to learn how to solder. I am not good at this. I figured it out eventually and glued it all back together, and it was the perfect length. So I taped the controller down, connected the three fans together, and plug them into the control switch. What do you know, it actually still worked. But after a 104 degree Fahrenheit day, the battery sleeve shrank and deformed, so the battery would no longer fit. I peeled off the sleeve and designed new ones with a little more wiggle room for shrinkage and slightly thicker walls but I still didn't feel that would cut it. So I ordered some printed with nylon. I think they're way cooler than the PLA ones I'm able to print on my cheap printer, but how they looked didn't matter if they didn't perform. So I pointed a heat gun at both and the difference there was even more obvious. The nylon hardly deformed at all, but the PLA practically liquefied. So I completed the install with the new parts, added blade guards for safety, and I've done it, a masterpiece. To put the window units in, I start by rolling the window down. The covers sit just between this rubber window gasket and the window. No fasteners or alterations to the vehicle are necessary. Once in, I roll the window back up and leave just the slightest crack, making sure there is no gap on the side, only a small one at the top. If you want these to be totally rainproof, you'll have to install these rain guards to cover up the slight crack. With the battery plugged in, the fan starts pulling air into the snorkel and down and out the scoop. For some reason, out of the two batteries I own, the one I'm using for the sunroof unit doesn't keep the fan in the window unit running after about 30 seconds. This other one will run the window unit all night and lasts about three nights for us. 
I'll make sure to keep the links in the description organized for anyone wanting to buy one of these. This window allows us to peek out and see any bears about to attack, and the extra storage is a huge deal for such a small space. They're also super easy to take out, so if we're going somewhere during the day, we just pop them out and throw them on the bed. The sunroof unit is just as easy to install. With the sunroof open, I slide the unit in, making sure it's between the aluminum rails, then insert this end into the headliner. That's why I made it longer than the opening. Once it's installed, I just have to turn this little knob, and this thing really pulls a lot of air through without making much noise at all. And here you can see that from the outside. I took the bug filters off to maximize airflow because our next trip just won't be that buggy. I call this thing weather resistant because we can put our sunroof in vent mode, which allows the fan to push air out even if the weather isn't great. But if you're in a super heavy storm, you're going to want to close it up. Altogether, I've got almost 400 CFMs pumping through this system. It's not going to allow you to sleep in your car in the middle of a 100 degree day. But with this upgrade, warm summer nights are much cooler and there's a lot less condensation that builds up in the car. I will say this is getting a little far from being a budget option. So I'd recommend just making one of these things to start. And if I had to choose one, it would be the sunroof system. The battery we use for it will run all three fans on medium speed for around two nights. And you could start with one fan and work your way up from there. Now, if you're still watching this, it means there's a chance you might be interested in buying one of these extra nylon prototypes and helping me design the next iteration with your feedback. I'm going to have to recommend most people not do this because A, I only have eight of each. B, I have other videos making similar things without 3D printed parts. C, I'm giving the print files away for free. D, these nylon prints weren't cheap. And E, you'll still have to buy all the other parts that I don't make or sell. If after all those caveats, you still want to support the channel by buying one or more of these parts, check out the links in the description.